We are keeping a close eye on Hurricane Lee. It's gaining strength as it barrels through the Atlantic Ocean. It has the potential to become a very powerful storm as it gets closer to the Lesser Antilles and Puerto Rico. So how do we know just how strong it could be and its projected path? Meteorologist Ricky Matthews is here to explain the work of hurricane hunters. The hurricane hunters are crucial to our understanding of a storm's strength. They fly through the storm to gather information about different types of meteorological parameters that we need to know to communicate a storm's strength to you. They do this by using sensors on board the aircraft and also that are dropped from the aircraft. Drop sons are typically released from the tail of an aircraft like this one, the P3, and they fall from the aircraft's altitude all the way down to the surface. As they fall, they're gathering different types of data, temperature, dew point, wind speeds, and most importantly, pressure at the surface. Pressure relates to a storm's intensity. The lower the pressure, the stronger the storm is. So that pressure information is crucial to our understanding. Now there are two different types of aircraft that fly through the storm. Those are the C-130 Hercules flown by the U.S. Air Force Reserve and the P-3, the one we just showed you a second ago. Both of those are able to gather data on wind speed, temperature, dew point, sea surface temperature, and uh, pressure. The difference though between the two is that the P3 also has a radar on board and that allows the forecasters of the Hurricane Center to really understand a storm structure just like we would do in the summertime to show you a thunderstorm structure. They have the same thing on board the aircraft to show you what it looks like uh, even over the ocean. So pretty cool stuff they're able to gather from these aircraft and very, very important data that's gathered that we then communicate to you to communicate a storm's intensity.